Hey, man. Hello. <laughs> what was that? I was just trying to time it right when you we took were, a drink. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what? Uh, have you ever heard of Julianne Kopke? Julianne Kopke? Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna see how long it could be silent. After I heard, I heard a horn. Is why I stopped. Yeah, and then I was like, I was just gonna wait to see how just, long you let me be silent. We can cut this part out. Uh, Julianne Kopke uh, is a famous composer. Oh yeah, yeah. She's known for her uh, musical endeavors, such as uh, paparazzi. It's Lady Gaga's real name. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Julia Kopke. Why are you Googling it? <laughs> yeah, I've obviously made this up. Now her name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Germ German Germanata Germanata. Yeah. So it's yeah. not. It's not. You're wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about? Have you God, ever I'm heard confused. Of <laughs> They're super similar, you know. Have you ever heard of a uh, Lanza Flight 508? Lance of flight 508. What about Peru? You ever heard of Peru? I've heard of Peru. <laughs> well, there we go. There's what we'll start. We'll start with the we'll one start thing with you Peru. Know. <laughs> is this a missing person? Uh, like is this like a flight that went missing? Uh, I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, technically, yeah. So here, let me just tell you about it. Let yeah, please. Story. I would love it if you did. <laughs> So That's why I showed up today. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Don't, don't try to get out of being an idiot real quick, right? Uh, yeah. What makes you think you'd be a great manager? Well, I have a degree in rainforest stuff. <laughs> wow. This guy's a little overqualified for yeah. this position. She knows the gators are friends, not food. Depends you didn't see the sword and wings. Or Angle? you did. Well, then you just have a different just... idea of who Martin Luther King <laughs> Jr. was. Things I learned last night. Uh, Julianne Kopke. Uh, she Julianne. Yes. Okay. I thought it was Julia. Go ahead. Julianne. We can call her Julie. Um, I don't know if she goes by that, but we can do it. <laughs> we can. <laughs> is she gonna? Is she alive? Is she gonna stop us? I mean, she's alive, but I doubt she could stop us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> what does that mean? That yeah, she's alive, but I doubt she. You know, <laughs> she's got no physical power over me. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna keep saying it. You know, Julia, it's Julianne. Well, what are you gonna? She's not gonna physically do it. She can't stop me. <laughs> what do you mean? She's frail. You think you could beat her up? Are you threatening I mean, to beat somebody? Well, up? I do think I could, but there's <laughs> not a reason for that. <laughs> I just think I could. That is not part of it at all. That has nothing to do with the story. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think she can stop me. I mean, I, I I just don't think she could. <laughs> I don't know. She's sixty-seven. Uh, okay. So I mean, that's fine. Like, I mean, I when's was the last mean, time a sixty-seven-year-old woman tried to stop you from doing something? Like, I don't know. They, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. Excuse me, Miss. How old are you? Sixty-seven. Yeah, you can't yeah, stop me. Yeah, should have caught me two years ago. It's <laughs> the cutoff. Jeez, okay. How fast can you run? You just lady? said Julia <laughs> earlier, is why I was confused. So Julianne, yeah, Julia. Um, yeah, so she is now. Her name now is Julianne Diller. She okay. got married. Um, well, she is uh, famous for a couple things. One, uh, she's a German Peruvian mammologist. Um, okay. So she studies mammals. Sure, uh, as, as you might expect. Also. Um, she survived a nine thousand eight hundred. Presumably, presumably, this is an estimate. You said the word wrong twice, but that's okay. <laughs> presumably, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Presumably, there you go. Uh, they, they estimate nine thousand eight hundred and forty feet fall uh, that she survived. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, Would she jump out of a plane and a parachute not work? Sort of. So here's what happened on uh, uh, December 24th, uh, 1971. Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve, 1971. Um, 
Kopke was about to graduate high school. She had literally just gone to her senior prom and her mother uh, Maria and her uh, were in Lima, Peru, and they were uh, taking a trip to a town of uh, on the other side of the mountains in Peru uh, by name of hold on. Let me pull this back up. You heard me <laughs> earlier. How okay? It's uh, the town's name is Equitos, Equitos, Peru. Um, that's what that was earlier when you were like, yeah, I heard the computer voice go Equitos. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Yeah, well, I was learning how to say it. Hey, um, I'm really proud of you for making progress because I've listened to back to a couple episodes <coughs> and you just really you go for it. Yeah, with no help. Well, here's the thing. I have this. I think it's a great character trait, mm. but a lot of other people in my life think it's a character flaw. Who are a lot of other people? Me and your wife. Yeah, and well, most of my friends. Okay. Uh, so me and your wife. <laughs> I think there's a good, like I have a good character trait where I will take an educated guess in confidence mm -hmm. and answer things that I don't know. Um, <laughs> And so a lot of times that's pronoun pronouncing things. Okay. Um, you almost said pronouncing, but that's fine. pronouncing a lot of times that's pronouncing, uh, but I mean sometimes like sometimes for example, this is one that my wife talks about a lot. We were on our way to Florida. Um, we were driving and you through. were like I know how to get there. <laughs> it's Florida. <laughs> yeah, we just got to go north on any highway. Okay. It'll get us there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we were driving through Birmingham, Alabama. And I mean, you've been to Birmingham right outside downtown. There's this big hill and at the top of the hill is a giant statue of some dude with his arms up in the air and like <coughs> and when I say giant, <laughs> I mean giant it's a huge like statue. it is gigantic. If you're anywhere near Birmingham, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, everybody in the car was like, I wonder who that statue is and I'm as I do normally take an you educated guess like, yeah. in confidence. That's George Washington Carver. No, I was like the peanut guy. This is Birmingham, Alabama. That's Martin Luther King Jr. Like, of course, like it, it's his educated guest, right? Uh, and everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And nobody, everyone nobody just forgets about anything. it. Nobody questioned it because I was confident. Well, on the way back, we drive by, and on the other route, you can kind of see that there's like he's holding up a sword, and there's like wings, and it's actually a statue of a Greek god. We looked it up, and it was a Greek god, um, and everybody. Can't let it go. Yeah, <laughs> because they're like you were so confident and I was I was like, yeah, it was an educated guess and I was confident in my guess, which happens. You a lot. didn't see the sword and wings. <clears throat> well, yeah, from that or angle, you did from that angle. Then you just have a different just, idea of who Martin Luther King <laughs> Jr. was. <laughs> yeah, he was an angel. Yeah, <laughs> so all right. Anyways, so yeah, I'm I get too confident sometimes. So, th so this this flight, it's it's Lanza flight 508 takes off from Lima to head to e Equitos um, uh, and while they're in the air, uh, they encounter a storm uh, and this storm uh, was pretty severe. It was <laughs> bad. enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bad enough to the point where um, the pilots in this flight probably should have diverted yeah. um, and taken a different route, but um, they, but they said they were like, you know what? <laughs> We've seen storms before. I'm going to take an educated guess on how to get through this. <laughs> well, the well, co-pilot said see, the co-pilot was like, what do you think that statue is down there? <laughs> they didn't see the man in the clouds with the sword and the wings. <laughs> so they rode into the storm. They rode into the storm. They shouldn't have. Did the plane wreck? Uh, yeah. So the plane got struck by lightning. Um, oh. And it was one of the. It was the worst mid-air lightning strike in aviation history. It split the plane in half. Oh um, my gosh! And so obviously, like, the plane starts going down. Um, absolute pandemonium, and it rips uh, Julianne Kopke from the plane in her seat. So she's still attached to her seat. It rips her from the plane. And she just starts flipping through the air, spiraling through the air, like attached free to her seat. In, in she's attached to a seat. Yeah, but she's free falling. Yes. Yeah. And so the plane, she got separated from the plane. The plane's obviously going down, and it's ripping apart all around her still because she's falling amidst this other fall. And then, like obviously, other passengers start flying out too, 
Well, she while she's falling, uh, she was falling face down. So her head was facing down. And she said she described it as like the seat was kind of like a helicopter blade. Like she was just spinning around like real quick, real fast. Yeah, um, and she thinks that this it was the spinning that uh, made her pass out. And so she passes out before she hits the ground uh, and she wakes up later uh, with the seatbelt like jammed into her her skin um, and uh, her collarbone is broken. She tore her ACL. Uh, she had a pretty severe concussion and she fractured one of her vertebrae. Uh, but other than that, that was really it. <laughs> so like obviously a lot what? of very severe injuries, but she fell 10,000 feet <laughs> without a parachute. Uh, and so what they, what they think happened was well, she was spinning around and because she was spinning like that, the spin slowed her fall. And so it slowed her fall enough to where the damage wasn't severe. And they the assumption is when she passed out, she leaned backwards just enough that it tilted the chair and then she landed on the chair. Um, and so the chair landed face down instead of her landing on her face. Um, and so hours after the crash, she wakes up um, and there's just wreckage all through. They're in the rainforest of Peru. This is this is the Amazon. This is right. I mean, if you don't, this is this is where she is. Um, just <laughs> absolute middle of nowhere, uh, dangerous environment. Right. Um, and she wakes up, realizes she's severely injured, um, and tries. She gets herself out of her out of her chair, and she's only able to like literally. She gets up. She stands up falls down, passes back out um, and is out for another day. Uh, and so when she wakes up, here's the <laughs> I mean this, this this whole story is like crazy. Um, yeah, but this this part of the story is the most like oh. So she wakes up and uh, she she looks at her arm. She's got a severe laceration on her arm okay. bad enough to where she thought in the moment she's like I might have to get this amputated. And the leading reason for that is because she was out so long that it had become infested with maggots. Uh, oh no! And she she was picking them out, but she just couldn't get them all out. Oh, there. Like there was hundreds no. of them. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I horrific. don't like picturing that at all. <clears throat> and so she gets up, and she's just kind of got the maggots crawling around in her arm, torn ACL, broken collarbone, broken vertebrae, serious concussion. Um, in the middle of the Amazon rainforest um, and there's she can't find any other survivors. Uh, she keeps finding bodies, um, but most of the people she's finding. Oh, it, yeah, they're they're just legs sticking yeah. out of the ground like they they lodged into the ground because they, they fell from such heights. Oh my god. Um, and so she said that when she was going around through the woods every time she found uh, a female, she would check the toes to see if they were painted because her mom didn't have painted toenails. And so she's like, if I could find one that's not painted, then I would know that that's my mom, um, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, and so she's going through the rainforest trying to find her way out, um, trying to find another survivor, um, manages uh, to find a bag of candy that is the only food <laughs> that she was able to recover. And so she rations this. What she rations this little bag of candy, and she's. Well, how long is this whole process happening? Because she's moving real slow. So she was knocked out for about a day. Yeah. And then this is this is that kind of like first early like okay I'm up I'm like moving around I have to figure out how to get out of here. to get out of here yeah so this is this is all within a relatively short period of well, probably a couple one hours day, you think okay, a couple okay, hours okay, okay. where she's walking around she's finding these two bodies she manages to find. This food. What you gotta find is like a way to call for help. Yeah. Well, so you, you got to find a plane, what, like what, the cockpit. Yeah. What was interesting was with with this flight is when the plane, the, when they lost communications with the plane, they sent out search parties to look for it. But because the plane, the plane was struck at twenty thousand feet, and so because it got struck so high, here's this is a crazy shot. I think this is from the movie. There's a movie that came out about this. Oh. Uh, but this is what they. They, they literally just shot right through the plane uh, the lightning anyways. Um, so when when the plane never came for landing and they couldn't contact anybody search parties came out, but because this crash happened so high in the air, it broke apart before it hit the ground. And so instead of it being the whole plane going down right, the rainforest, right, right, right. It's multiple it, pieces. Yeah, it fell in all these pieces 
and in the rainforest, it was just impossible. Like these planes were flying over and she said she kept hearing the planes fly over the search planes fly over, but it's a rainforest. There's that thick canopy and so she's like, I had no way of showing them where I was. They had no way of seeing me, but I he- I kept well, hearing what I'm them. saying is that you got to find <clears throat> you know where the first of all you need to find your first aid kit, Mm -hmm. but then you also got to find like the flares and something that you can use something you can shoot up or create a fire burn down the forest. (laughs) (laughs) The watcher burn it down, (laughs) burn burn down the whole Amazon. (laughs) Yeah, I know it's a humanitarian thing. People are gonna be like, wow, Jaron really didn't think about the rainforest (laughs) when he was trying to save his life. Dude, that's that's exactly what would happen. That's exactly that. what happened in that. No, I don't even care about that part. I'm saying you would get canceled because you are <laughs> you've sur- you survived a plane crash. <laughs> You're in the forest, yeah, and you you start a fire so you can get a smoke signal up at yeah, least yeah. some way to show any humanity that you're there. That you and live. then you accidentally burn down half of a forest, and you get back, and people are like, "You're the guy who burned down the forest. <laughs> you burned down." You're the like, well, Amazon. I'm also the guy that flew ten thousand feet to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and made yeah. it. I had a little bit of a concussion. Like, give me, give me, give me some me kind of. <laughs> come on. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. We love our listeners a lot, and one way that you can let us know you're here uh, is by leaving a podcast review. Maybe that's a five star thing in the Apple Podcast app. Maybe you listen on Spotify, or if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment. We do read all the comments and reviews. We just love knowing what you think about this show. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, go check out some of our other episodes. My current favorite is the Identical Strangers episode. It's three brothers or triplets who were separated at birth, un- unbeknownst to them or their parents. And as part of a really weird uh, experiment. So uh, there's a lot of really fun stuff we talked about in that episode, uh, but thank you for checking this out. Now back to this one. Uh, that was another that was another struggle. So she just had so much going against her in the fall. She lost her glasses and she had severe nearsightedness. And so now she's not only does she have all this other stuff, but she can barely see. Um, and she's walking through nice. Uh, she lost one of her shoes in the fall, and so she's walking through the forest with one shoe and a torn ACL. She can't see anything uh, trying to find her way out, but here's the thing about uh, Julie. Yeah, um, and and <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, don't, don't tell her. I'm scared of her. <laughs> don't tell her. I would be too, man. <laughs> so here's the thing about her. Uh, so she uh, her parents uh, they were a biologist and a zoologist couple and they had moved to the rainforest to do science, you know, uh, <laughs> and this is them. This is them in to the do middle of science. This is her know? parents. Okay, in the middle of the rainforest with all their fishies um, and different uh, exotic rainforest uh, fauna and flora. Well, they got to put those fish back in the tank. They're going to die. <laughs> Now they're making those those wall fish. Those are the Billy um, Bass. Huh? Those yeah. are terrifying <laughs> Billy Bass. Those aren't yeah. even like a. It was some of the early iterations. This was the seventies. They hadn't yeah. perfected it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so she had lived for years in the rainforest with her parents, um, who were experts learning all the things on right, right, rainforest right. stuff. Um, and on rainforest stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She had lived. What's your degree in <laughs> rainforest stuff? Her parents were zoologists. We're a zoologist and a biologist, and they figured, hey, we need to study this. So the best yeah. thing we could do is move our entire family into a rainforest cafe for three years. I was years. just trying to make a rainforest <laughs> cafe joke. I was trying to make up a whole thing of like, I have a degree and I use it to be the manager at rainforest cafe. <laughs> Dang it, Tim. Uh, yeah, what makes you think you'd be a great manager? Well, I have a degree cafe. in rainforest stuff. <laughs> wow, this guy's a little overqualified for yeah. this position. <laughs> I can tell you a lot about. Yeah, ask me something about that dish right there. <laughs> What's on that dish right there? Well, <laughs> what if somebody knew a lot about <laughs> dishes, like plates? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and like like tell me about that dish. Oh, I'll tell you. So this one is a good, fine product made. It's uh, a good dish. The, <laughs> that's a good dish, like a good dish, right? 
<laughs> well, my mom was sending me pictures of a bunch of dishes from my grandma's house yeah. that are apparently like they got lead on like on the paint things mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so like this article is just like if you had these dishes at your house, you probably will have cancer and mm-hmm. die. Yikes. That's what the whole article is. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> turns out I mean my entire childhood. Turns out we was, ate a lot of those dishes. We ate a lot of <laughs> not off. We ate, <laughs> we ate a, a lot, lot of, of dishes. dishes. <laughs> yeah, that's what my degree allowed me to do is I knew how to swallow a broken plate. You got to do it at the right angle. Yeah, you got to just get it. Yeah, it's it's an it's art. A, it's a it's learning art, process. Yeah. I mean, my esophagus yeah. is destroyed, yeah, but, but yeah, it was a, it was an interesting practicum that they had yeah. there. But you know, every degree's got them. The hard parts. The hard <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> so she knew a bunch of stuff about the rainforest. Yeah, so she had spent years uh, of her life learning about how to survive in the rainforest and what frogs are poisonous and what plants that's all you really touch. need to know. <laughs> I don't know anything else about this forest, but I can tell you that frogs poisonous. Yeah, I can tell you stay away from that frog. I can't tell you anything about that. This rainforest, but I can tell you that frog sketchy guy. What do you do if a bear comes around the corner? I don't know, man. I don't know. We didn't get that far. We didn't. Yeah, we I just still got to two. frogs. Yeah, all we covered is poison frogs. Yeah, uh, so she knew a lot about the rainforest. Um, a few of the things that stood out to her that were very important was one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, not only like there's a lot of poisons to animals like snakes and sure and lots of, frogs, lots of plants and stuff, but yeah, there's a lot of plants that you can't eat, right. which is why she grabbed that bag of candy because she's like, I know that there's a lot of plants that will kill me if I consume them, but I don't know all of them, you know, so I know there's mm-hmm. a lot, but I don't know how many of them there are and I don't know for sure. And so she's like, I can't eat anything I see here um, and she she also couldn't hunt because she you know, she's got a torn ACL. <laughs> yeah, and like and she doesn't have any like gear like she doesn't she can't go fish. She can't go spear fishing. She can't go uh, and oh, go ahead. Yeah, are we, are we yeah, she what other go, kind of fishing can't, can't she go do boat fishing? Yeah, deep sea sure, fishing. Right. Can't do that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just all the fishing can't do cat fishing yeah. either. You yeah. know <laughs> what? She gonna upload a picture of somebody else with a full intact with a, arm with a, yeah with a maggotless arm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no maggots in my arm. That's what her bio. I feel says. like if it says that in the bio, it <laughs> seems like there might be. You know, if you have to tell me there's none, then I think there's some. Yeah, uh, her username online is just like definitely a real girl <laughs> with no maggots in her <laughs> arm. And that's a long name. That's a really long username. Surprised it wasn't taken. Uh, <laughs> 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 if it was though, this username was taken. Oh shoot! Uh, how? Uh, so she knew. She knew that it was a big deal, right? That her shoe was missing because she's walking through all these plants that could. Her shoe was missing. I thought yeah. you said it was a big deal that she was missing. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> no, yeah. Whoa. So it was a big deal that her shoe was missing because she's like, there's poison ivy and all other different types of right, ivies. right, right, right. Like I'm, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, I'm gonna mess up my shoe. So what she and she also knew that there was lots of snakes that slithered around in the ivies <laughs> and so she she didn't want to just barefoot step through this forest and so she took her other shoe also she doesn't have her glasses so she can't really see so she took her other shoe and she's waving it through the brush in front of her before every step to make sure there's nothing there that's going to bite her or infect her or whatever okay before every single step just walking through and then stepping so barefoot through the rainforest. Eventually, um, one of the things that she knew was uh, that if you're ever lost in the rainforest or really in any, any wilderness area, here's a pro tip for you. Uh, find water, um, uh, preferably running water, right? Uh, if you can find a bathroom. No, you want to find like a stream because the stream will always run. If you go from r- where it's going, you're going to end up to maybe a river or something else that bigger, will bigger lead water. you to where civilization is. Civilization always ends up being near water, uh, and so that's like when we were driving downtown in Kansas City. Yeah, we're on the bridge, and Ray goes, "This city would be really pretty if it had a river." And I was like, "You mean like that one?" <coughs> yeah, like the Missouri River that and we're she literally was, oh, over. I, this was like years ago. I have not let it go. <laughs> This that moment is her big statue moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where I was like, "Do you mean the river that we're crossing right now?" Right now, yeah, yeah. She's like, well, I couldn't see it. I mean, I, what do you think the bridge is? What do you here think for? the bridge is for? You think we got a canyon? <laughs> we just have. Do you think we the just Grand dug Kansas a big City hole? Canyon. 
right outside of Kansas City. <laughs> Canyon City. Sorry, Kansas, my bad. The Kansas Canyon. Yeah, that's the state line. The state line was like they're like there's yeah. just this giant crevasse. It's a ditch. Dividing. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, so find water. So find water. So she finds a stream. She follows that stream to a larger river. And here's where uh, her experience really helped her. Yeah, because she wasn't. She's got a white, white, white rapid float down this thing. What was I trying to white say? River rafting. Yes. Yeah. There you go. No. Um. She didn't have a boat. <laughs> well, I mean, she actually did. She she prepped a jet that's ski. What I'm saying. <laughs> She had placed a jet ski there way earlier. <laughs> you know, she was like, "I can get out on this thing." <laughs> so this thing's gonna make too much noise. So she has a little inflatable yeah. inner tube. Yeah, 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 and a pulley system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole, whole Amazon. <laughs> yeah, if you've not listened to previous episodes, that's a bummer for you. Yeah, that would be confusing. Oh. So she gets to this river, and her experience told her. Uh, most of <laughs> us, when we get to a river in the Amazon, yeah, one thing we'll notice right away is, hey, this river has water in it. Is <laughs> yeah, but also a lot of a lot of you know crocodiles in this water. Oh, yeah, you can see them. Yeah, visually, um, and most of us and would all say, you do, and I've learned from years of research and yeah, you know, being alive yeah. is that if you just gotta wait for them to line up perfect, and you just <laughs> hop right over them. You know, jump on one, yeah, jump, moves, on one jump on the other one. But you got to time it just right. You got to time it just right. Otherwise, oh, you end up in the water and that's right. Uh, you get hit by a truck. You get hit by a truck. Yeah. The, the, in the, the river trucks. <laughs> the river trucks are a big problem. So, uh, no, so uh, most of us would say, man, look at all the gators in the water. I better stay out of it. She can see them with her with her glasses off too. Like they're big enough. Well, she's seen enough gators in her life to know <laughs> whether she can see clearly or not that that's a gator. She's seen <laughs> enough gators in her life. She knows a blurry one. <laughs> yeah, she's you like know? that's I'm pretty sure that's a gator. I can't see very well, but I'm pretty Are they sure alligators or crocodiles in the rainforest. I don't know. Let's look it up alligators. I didn't like the way you said it. Huh? Or crocs. Uh, I'm pretty sure the crocodiles. The Amazon. Uh, it's in the alligator family in the Amazon. So yeah, okay. gators. Uh, here's the thing that she knew. Uh, gators, uh, they tend to, uh, and ha- heavy emphasis on tend, but they tend to leave humans alone. And so unless you provoke them, yeah, they unless tend you're to like just right ignore up you. on them. Yeah. yeah, and so she said, hey, look, I can walk in this water with the gator friends or I could walk on the land with the potential of snakes and scorpions and poisonous plants and so she dart walks frogs. through the water. So she walks through the gator water <laughs> with all of her wounds through the Amazon's dirty river with the gator water uh, because she figured that was going to be safer for her than walking on the rainforest floor. Uh, mind you, at this point, she's already drenched. She's spent how like long a day do you think this rain. has been? Uh, this is days at this point. That's what this I was is days into this event for her. She's running out of candy fast, um, and she's she's walking along this river. Well, yeah, the gators took it. <laughs> hey, like we'll let you pass for two pieces <laughs> of candy. What do you got in that bag? What are you, an alligator pirate? <laughs> what is Skittles? this? <laughs> <laughs> Are those skittles? <laughs> Why do they talk like that? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's the way it's an educated guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hate you for that. <sighs> Hey, thanks again for listening to this episode. If you like our show, make sure you follow us on social at Tillin Podcast or subscribe anywhere where you're listening to right now, whether that's YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, whatever it is. And if you want more, uh, we do have a Patreon you can support us on. Uh, in there, you get all sorts of perks like ad free episodes, early access to our content, and even a Discord with our hosts and producers. Uh, so we'd love for you to check that out. All you got to do is text Tillin to 66866. That's Tillin to 66866. But thanks again for checking us out.
Uh, so they, uh, she's she's walking through right the the rainforest. She's got to find a way out. Uh, she knows at this point. Uh, where well, she's pretty confident at this point that nobody else survived this plane crash. Yeah, for sure. And, and one of the things that she said after the fact, she said, I, I, "If I would have found somebody else that survived, I think I would have died, because I think what we would have done is we would have waited together to be found." Yeah. But she said, "But because I couldn't find any other survivors, she said that she realized she was on her own and she had to figure this out by herself." And so she was just like, "I guess I gotta go." And so she thinks <laughs> if. She thinks her being the only one that she could find was was the best thing for her because obviously she wouldn't have survived. So she's walking through the water, wading through gator gator water, uh, and then she finds a broken down car uh, in the middle of the rainforest. And it's like it's like it's been broken down, like it's yeah. got like vines growing on it and stuff like that. Um, and she has a great idea because at this point. The maggots are doing a number on her arm yeah, yeah, yeah. and she realizes I got to do something to get rid of these maggots and so she takes the gas tank on that on this truck. Stop. I don't even want you to continue and she dumps it oh. in her cut to use that to kill out all the maggots and so obviously it did not feel good, <laughs> but it worked. They she had was able to wash out the vast majority of the maggots in her arm in her arm from doing that. There still was a few that doctors end up finding later, um, but she got the vast majority doing that. And doctors did say if she didn't do that. She probably would have lost the arm um, because they were rapidly just how was her car out there? So at least she knows she's close enough to society now. <laughs> yeah, I mean people people drive through everywhere, you know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so like at some point someone was driving probably ran out of gas and then they did the similar thing that she did and they followed the the water. They didn't yeah. run out of gas though because there's gas I was gonna say, there. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna let you know. Maybe do it. the fine. battery died. I don't sure. know. Something happened where they struck had to by leave lightning, the car. Probably. Yeah, they got struck by lightning. Yeah. Anyways, something happened, they had to leave, and you know. Okay. It, it's you know, what are you gonna do? Um so she continues walking through um uh uh the rainforest. The rainforest. Uh, along this this water until um, she finally uh, kind of ended up near this clearing space um, and was kind of giving up like her injuries were getting to the point where she could yeah, barely she move. Can't move yeah. um, she she was starving. She's in right. for days of walking miles on these injuries. All that she's had is like a little bag of candy yeah. to sustain her. Uh, and so she she doesn't think she's gonna make it. Well, uh, just when she started to kind of give up, a group of missionaries just happened upon her, <laughs> and they were like, "Whoa, like you don't look good." <laughs> and they were a Man, little. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> they were here's, here's but there's a a cut <laughs> on your arm, and there are living creatures crawling in and out yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, here's 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 the thing. She knew how to speak Spanish from her Amazonian days, right? All right. So this girl, just I just want to make sure. <clears throat> it just seems like she knows everything. Yeah. She knows how to survive in a rainforest. Yeah. She knows the gators are friends, not mm -hmm. food. <laughs> and she knows that she can speak Spanish. Yeah. She knows that she can speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, I never knew it before. <laughs> but turns out I can. <laughs> well, we all can. It's all in us. You know, you just gotta you just gotta call it out. You just gotta find it. Yeah, you gotta find the find the language within. Um yeah, and so she knew Spanish. And so here here's what's here's what's significant. These missionaries, these weren't like these were local missionaries that were yeah. in Peru. Yeah, I wasn't imagining like a high a group of high school white like kids Baptists. from Indiana <laughs> who were just like, We're here to serve in Peru. You know? And they got their chacos on and their oversized yeah. t shirts. That's and what I pictured. But no, these were like local 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 Baptists. <laughs> yeah, the local Baptists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, these were local missionaries going into the rainforest to find tribal peoples um, and tell them about Jesus. Uh, and they get they find this lady. But here's the problem. Here's the problem that they they encounter right away. Uh, it, there was a lot of uh, mysticism for the people in that area about like ghosts and demons in the forest. Oh, and uh, Julia was messed up. 
Yeah. Uh, she had some severe She's fallen from injuries. <laughs> yeah, and severe. They thought she was a demon. Yeah, uh, and so they were like afraid to approach her at first. And if she didn't know how to speak their language, she said that sh- they probably would have left her because they were scared. But she was able to speak to them in Spanish and convince them, "I'm not a demon. <laughs> Come I'm help not me. a demon. <laughs> I just need your help." Yeah. <laughs> that's what she said. So if you if yeah, you that's actually my code word for like if I'm like horribly injured, <laughs> right? Because I'm sure we'll be together when it happens. Mm-hmm. You know, if like I break an arm or shatter my pelvis somehow, yeah, we're yeah. in a car accident together. Yep. Right. And you just hear me shouting from the car. <laughs> I'm not a demon. <laughs> I'm not a, a demon. demon. <laughs> that's honestly I think that's how I'm gonna die, just so you know. I'm not Is a the, demon. <laughs> No, I think I'm going to die in like, uh, you know, I've said this before. I think I don't know if I said it on the podcast, yeah. but like choking on something. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, in my basement, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, and I'm yelling up the stairs to my wife and I'm like, please save me. And mm-hmm. she's like, he's doing a bit. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's like, oh, he's oh, joking it's, it's around. It's just again. a joke. It's what not real filming a tick tock down there. And yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. yeah, and she's I'm like, oh, yeah, the no vocal cords bit. I've heard it before. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> You know, and that's how I'm gonna die. Yeah. So just so you know, if you say if I'm, I'm not going, a demon, I'm not a demon. You know, I'm. It, this is real. This is real. This is real. But here's the thing. Ah, see, <laughs> you're gonna let me die, dag <laughs> nabbit. <laughs> here's the thing. I would expect you. How do I you, say I'm not a demon in Spanish? That's gonna help get, me out. If, you, if you, no está diablo, I would assume that's my guess. Okay, uh, that's your educated <laughs> guess. Yeah. <laughs> You said it so <laughs> confident. <sighs> uh, hold on, let's see. I'm not a demon. Uh, Google Translate. We need to learn this phrase in all languages. <laughs> <laughs> this is, no this matter, is something we no need to know. No matter what country you're in, we need to know this in French, in <laughs> Spanish, in Chinese. Oh, I was close. Oh, they got another word for the demon. I didn't know that. Uh, no soy un demonio. That sounds like someone who's faking it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a d- demonio. demonio. I'm not a devil. Is also demonio. What's Diablo? Diablo is. I thought that was He's devil. If you're not Satan, you're no soy un satanas. 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 Say. Satanas. So, Satanas. Okay. What's Diablo? Anyways, this is <laughs> Diablo is devil, right? No. Shut up. Yes, it is. So the the missionaries uh, they end up helping her. They had a first aid kit on hand. Didn't do much with it. Uh, it was just duct just tape, band aids, <laughs> duct tape, and what? <laughs> and Vaseline. And Vaseline. That's right. Are you yeah. Say <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Duck tape and mayonnaise. Duct tape and mayonnaise. Duct tape and mayonnaise. mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, the oil it helps, you know. Anyway, duct tape and Vaseline. So I, I don't go anywhere without my mayonnaise. Dude, it can cure and it's anything. in my glove box, so it's hot. It's like hot at all. Oh, I pull it out. It's a like green mayonnaise. Oh, no. I'm like, Oh, let me put this in your wounds. <laughs> yeah, you're hurt. I need to rub this Bro. mayo on you. Oh man, I passed a car accident the other day, right? And I got out. And I <laughs> Don't worry, I got mayo. <laughs> and the paramedics showed up, and I was like, "No, no, no, paramayo is already <laughs> here." And so I was in there rubbing mayonnaise on this girl's wounds, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And a little uh, bit of hell she did keep not make hell. it. She did not make it. So <laughs> yeah, they said that she got an infection after the crash. Yeah, they were like crazy. she would have made it without this mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they call it miracle whip if it couldn't heal no, you? <laughs> the only reason I say that is you know there's people who use mayonnaise as like a cleaning thing. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, there's weird like, people out there. Like, like some people use vinegar. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, they're not putting it in things. Like they're wiping down counters with mayonnaise. Oh, man, <laughs> that is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to, to. I don't know where the sentence was going. 
<laughs> I don't know. I was hoping you were gonna interrupt me. Uh, okay. So they they had the first aid kit. So they had the first aid kit. It didn't help much, but it was enough. It was enough to get her somewhere. To get else. her to to the point where she could be airlifted to the hospital. She gets to the hospital, um, and they end up at the hospital being like, "Yeah, you're you you're injured." Yeah. <laughs> hey, we've got more candy for My you. My diagnosis: injured. <laughs> yeah. Dude, being a doctor is so easy. <laughs> Uh, so uh, they nurse her back to health, and then <clears throat> you, said that, you said that so casually. How long does that take? I don't know. I don't have any info. Oh, on okay, that. Um, but so after she recovers, uh, she actually assists the search party to go back into the jungle and find the bodies of everyone. Oh my that gosh. she lost because she knew uh, from her experience in homeschool um, different kind of homeschool than most people, but she knew it's easy to get lost in the Amazon. Yeah, uh, most every homeschooler graduates knowing it's easy to get lost in the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like their weird secret <laughs> phrase they have. They go, hey, were you home? Were you? It's like it's like it's like. Uh, hey, were you uh, lost in the Amazon? It's easy to get lost in the Amazon. <laughs> That's how they know they found another one, you know, and they have like a weird handshake, yeah, you know, where yeah. it's like this. Give me your hand. We did, we had to blur it, so that's not. <laughs> it's, we, we're not allowed to give it away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, just like that. <laughs> you know. So because of her time in the Amazon, right? She knew it's easy to get lost, so she left a trail. And okay. I, I don't know if it was like like twigs bread, or breadcrumbs. <laughs> breadcrumbs. She's like, good thing I got this loaf of bread. Yeah, I'm very hungry. I made it out. My brother Hansel did not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna leave some bread. <laughs> Maybe you'll find. Good thing I found this bag of candy. (laughs) Now, what else will I do with this other full tray? She's got like the variety pack of Lay's chips, you know, and she's just like, "Here's a Lay's chip. Here's Here's a a Frito. Here's the Cool Ranch Dorito." All the alligators are following behind her, just eating them right behind her. She has no idea. She's like, "I'll make it back." I'll make. Why is she leaving crumbs in the river, you idiot? What are you talking about? They're following (laughs) behind her. You know the path of the river. You think she was just well, like you th- <laughs> no 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 don't don't try to get out of being an idiot real quick right? You think that even if it wasn't food she was leaving behind, whatever she was making a trail with, you think she was still making that trail in the river? Yeah, probably because here's the deal. Like, yeah, I'm a really these are very remember. bland rivers. Like you know rivers that are just boring. That's, that's you know the boring Am- rivers. That's the Amazon River. Yeah, uh, the rivers in the Amazon they're just dull. Um, and you can't tell them apart. How all, deep is that? How deep of water was she walking through? You think? I mean, she probably was only walking through a couple of feet. She was sure. probably on like the, right on the edge. You know? Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, anyways, so she's she left like little clues and signals so she knows that's a place I've been before and so she leads them back through and they end up recovering most of the bodies. Oh uh, wow. What's crazy is how many people died in the <clears throat> she was the only survivor. Well, I mean, but how many uh, do you know? let's see it was there's 86 passengers 85 oh. uh, died 91 people in all including the crew. So she was one of 91 to survive. Wow. Um, and they actually found her mother and they said that her mother survived, but she ended up dying from her injuries because she couldn't. She had very severe injuries, oh, so man. she survived the fall and just kind of lived there in the rainforest a little longer and then ended up dying from her injuries, which sounds horrific Awful. <laughs> to just like survive that fall, but not well, you able don't to know move. If, she, if she woke up though. That's true. Yeah, you she might have just been knocked out the whole time. Yeah, Um. but yeah, so she uh, she ended up going back and studying bats um, in the rainforest. What? I, I don't know. There was no <laughs> smooth transition. That you you mean she went back to where the plane crash was? Yeah, she's like she was like yeah. I want to know about the bats a, there. <laughs> this is a good. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So after the fact, uh, they made a movie about the her story um, uh, called Miracles Still Happen, um, and then also there was uh, a couple documentaries called. Uh, uh, or no, there was a documentary called Wings of Hope, and then there was a book about her, her own autobiography called When I Fell from the Sky. Um, <clears throat> Man, you got to really hope that no one ever hit on her after that. Someone <laughs> walks up to her at a bar and was like, "Hey, did it hurt?" 
She's like, yeah, a lot. She's like, yeah, actually, <laughs> like really bad. Yeah, here's still kind of hurts. Here's a book. <laughs> yeah, you see this? You see this scar? Hey, I had a hundred maggots when in you there. You fell from heaven. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty bad. Um, yeah, I um, the closest thing that you've probably experienced. Have you ever like jumped from the high dive and belly flopped? It's like that, but if the high dive was ten thousand feet, <laughs> I bet I can survive. <laughs> Well, here's the here's here's what's crazy. So after this happened, you want to try it? Uh, you and I jump out of a plane. <laughs> see who makes it. No parachute. No parachute. Yeah, not interested. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a demon. I'm not a demon. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, so uh, after this happened, they like launched an investigation on this airline, Lansa, um, the the plane that was. In this flight was a Lockheed uh, Electro turboprop uh, plane. It was 1970s. It's one of those big steel-looking planes, right? right? Well, they ended up uh, discovering after the fact that this plane was built. Um, <laughs> here's a direct quote: "And assembled entirely from spare parts of other planes." Um, and oh. so they said that it's entirely because of the way it was constructed that it broke apart when it got struck by lightning. Because it, it, it shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it, yeah. it should have been damaged, but it shouldn't have just split up. Do you think people are more likely <coughs> to survive the fall if it stays intact? Uh, I think probably unless it like blows up because because the only reason she survived was because the chair cushioned her fall and so barely <laughs> I mean, yeah, but um, if you're able to have something like if you free from all other items just hit the ground. You're probably dead, right? But if there's something there to cushion your fall, um, then you might survive. This is actually this is a good. No, this was recommended by one of our patrons um, Danley man again, ironically um, and uh, another patron chunk light. <laughs> Do we not have the names? I don't have I don't have our uh, our spreadsheet our yet. Okay, okay uh, I don't have that yet, so I don't know. Um, but there's a there's a video explaining what to do if your parachute. He sent like this video explaining what to do if your parachute fails. Oh, and the lesson is spin. Uh, well, actually, it's make yourself flat like a pancake, and that'll slow you down. But then it's it's find something to land on, basically, whether that's like trees or something like that, yeah. not water, like swamp, uh, trees, or something else. I can't remember what they said um, because that'll break your fall. Um, and they said you're gonna break your legs, but you might survive if you can land in something that'll break your fall. So my assumption is if that's the logic when you're falling free fall um, that a plane would help because then the plane would break the fall break the fall. You just got to hope that the plane doesn't explode. Yeah, if the plane explodes, you're, you're done. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. <coughs> so Whew. anyway, so they got in a lot of trouble for that. Um, uh, you know, because it was kind of like and you know. is there a picture of her now? Yeah, so here she is um, at the plane crash. Uh, now and then also there she is when she was younger with some bird. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and that's her now. Well, that's her in like I don't know the 80s or 90s whenever when they, they found debris the plane whenever they made the movie about her. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, uh, and yeah, that's the, the so I mean she still package. walks and everything. Yeah, I mean her her injuries were a broken collarbone, which is a serious injury, but you can heal from that a torn ACL again serious, but you can heal. Uh, probably her most severe injury was that um, fractured. Uh, uh, I said it earlier. What is that? Her the, arm in your in your spine. With the oh, little, fractured vertebrae. Yeah, the, her vertebrae. That's probably was that's her what most I'm saying severe. is that she's up walking and everything. Like I, yeah. you know, she's, you never would have guessed that she fell ten thousand feet from the sky and survived. Uh, if you just saw her walking through your local Walmart or something. Um, yeah, sometimes I do see people that I think has happened to though. Hey, I just went to Walmart me. and I go, it looks like you've fallen ten thousand feet from the sky. Did that happen? And to I you? don't mean that in like a did it hurt kind of way. I, I mean, mean like uh, the, I know it, it hurt hurts kind of to look at you kind of way. You know what I'm talking about? You ever seen somebody so ugly that you're like, man, I hope something happened to you. <laughs> I hope that's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, yeah, so 
Uh, That's wild. Yeah, absolutely insane story. Um, terrifying. Uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine literally every step of this road falling without a parachute, uh, finding the maggots in your arm, crawling Ugh. through the forest, like eating candy, like all of this is just it's horrible. Like it's, it's I can't so believe awful. that like through the rainforest rivers with alligators like yeah. that's yeah, and she knew she knew enough to know she stood a better chance walking with the, the gators than walking with the snakes. Walking with the gators is actually a, a gospel album <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, if you look it up uh, yeah. track yeah. seven is called fiddle off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching things. I learned last night. If you like this episode, you can watch more right here or you can watch some highlights. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It helps us out a lot. Also, leave a comment below and we'll see you next week.